Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylee here. Today I just wanted to do a little vlog style kind of video and I wanted to talk about um, puppy blues and that I got a new puppy. So um, I got a German Shepherd puppy, an eight week year old, eight week year old? No, an eight week old German Shepherd puppy. Uh, I'll sh introduce you in a moment. But I just wanted to just quickly cover um, puppy blues, what, what that means, and how I went through it, and if you're going through it, it's okay. Don't feel bad. So basically, puppy blues is when you get a new dog, and it's, you, it's a puppy because it's called puppy blues. So you get a new puppy, and what happens is basically comparable, but obviously not to the same extent um, as uh, postpartum depression so it, it, it's it's like you get depressed because you got this huge responsibility uh, you have to take care of this life that is really dumb and really young <laughs> and it changes your lifestyle it changes um, your autonomy it changes a lot so um, I went through it. It lasted about a week. I had extreme anxiety and I, I know um, if you've watched any of my videos, I've done a few videos on anxiety and how to um, do your best and treat, treat it. Um, so I have a history with anxiety already um, and this definitely did not help. Um, so the first week I was very worried about if I was doing the right thing, if I was training the dog properly, if uh, the dog was going to get potty trained and like if it was going to make progress. Uh, and you have to wake up like every two hours because your dog's bladder is really small um, and you have to take them outside and repeatedly even when you're tired, even when you don't want to face the music you have to take care of this puppy so it's very common for people to get depressed and the puppy blues at first and you might even be questioning whether you should keep your dog um, I know I was uh, and I didn't want to be a failure so <laughs> that's pretty much why I still have my dog but um, it just so you know it does get better my autonomy is pretty much better. I'm, I'm also used to the routine now. Um, they say a new habit takes 21 days to establish. It's been about 21 days and I feel a lot better. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a little bit less than 21 days it's been, but I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a lot more in control. Um, routine is great for anxiety, so it will pass because you'll get into the routine just as much as your dog will. And um, my recommendation to you is to check out uh, German Shepherd dog I think dot com I'll put the link in the description um, if you have a German Shepherd but there's so much resources online for training your puppy whatever kind of breed it is what how to handle what kind of breed you have like mine is a German Shepherd working line dog so it's going to have a high prey drive high drive which I was prepared for um, I did my research before I got this dog I primarily wanted this dog to work out with so and I like going for really long hikes and walks and stuff. And um, I have a lot of free time as well. So um, it was a good uh, breed for me. Um, I wouldn't recommend you get a German Shepherd dog if you work full time and you don't have time to, you know, walk your dog and exercise it mentally and physically and stuff like that. So do your research before you get your puppy. But if you're feeling, you know, uh, upset or... Uh, anxious or you know depressed it's completely normal it happens to a lot of people you're not a bad person um, and one goal that I gave for myself is I would give I enrolled my puppy in a puppy school so the puppy goes to school to socialize mostly and to teach us how to train it properly and um, it lasts until the dog is 21 weeks old or 20 weeks old so I gave myself that little um, caveat like if I still my life was still a mess and I still was you know so anxious that I couldn't eat <laughs> um, it would be that would be okay for me to start considering 
other options. So, but I mean, it's two weeks in and I'm already not considering that anymore. But if, if you're feeling like that, set yourself a little milestone. Um, with any goal, you start with little things and you just keep trying. I know that when I had a job that was really hard and new for me, I told myself if I still hated the job, I would quit after Christmas. And Christmas rolled around and I had gotten into the swing of things and I and ended up enjoying the job. So definitely that's something that you can just tell yourself while you're doing it. Also, if you give that yourself the 20 weeks, you can see the progress that your dog's making throughout the 20 weeks. So for instance, like now my dog is pretty close to being potty trained. Um, there's still a few accidents, like, but that's to be expected with a dog this young. Um, I can now get her to sit, I can get her to lay down, stay, um, we're working on heel, um, and I can just see the progress that my dog's making, and it makes me feel proud, so it definitely alleviates the puppy blues. But anyway, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about when it came to puppy blues, and now I'm just going to let you meet my dog. Her name's Echo, and she's a little bit more than 10 weeks old now. So yeah, without further ado, I will introduce you to Echo. Hi, Echo. So this is Echo. She's a little lazy right now. She's got her little chewy. Um, but yeah, say hi. Yeah. <laughs> we just went for a walk, so she's a bit tired. Yeah. Yeah. You a good dog? Yeah. We've also been crate training her, so this is the crate that we have here. Um, it is sectioned off, so what you can do is you can get a big crate about how big you think your dog's going to get. It usually says, like, on the side what kind of dog you could fit in there. And the partition here helps because you need to have it, like, a, a close, a small area so that they don't go to the washroom in there. Um, and they don't relieve themselves in there because they want to remain clean because it's a small area. Um, it's good to... Uh, feed your dog in it, get it accustomed to it. Um, eventually they won't have a problem going in there. I know a lot of people say, oh, that's cruel, but um, dogs are denning animals normally, so they're used to like sleeping in a small area like that. It gives them comfort and safety. So we've been crate training Echo for since we've got here, and I think we're finally getting to the point where she doesn't cry in the crate anymore. So if your dog cries in the crate, it's completely normal. You can start off by putting the crate beside your bed if you want. Um, but if you have bad allergies, you don't have to. Um, yeah, so that's Echo. She's being a lazy butt. But yeah, I thought I would introduce you to my dog. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, yeah, Echo says, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my mom because, you know, because you have to. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.